Hi, welcome to another video from Robojax. In this video, we're going to see how to test and connect back and recognize the wires of JSTHX connector for the uh, LiPo battery. So this was from a crash, and this is this was cut from the mid was cut from there. But let's assume that the plug goes away and you don't know which wire is which. So there are some discrepancies though. This is now, as you can see, this is Ternigy Nanotech uh, and the wires are, this has already charged. I wanna make sure that I did don't touch. So the, as you can see, they are black, white, blue, and green. And also I have another Ternigy here. This one, however, doesn't have the same color. So this has now yellow. This is also three cell. Black, yellow, blue, and red. Instead of white, it has yellow. And now I have another battery from uh, Wakera, and Wakera has white, white. So, so there, it means that there is no convention, even amongst the Ternigy, which is from the same brand, they don't follow the same color convention. But in this battery, you see, they followed it. So regardless, let's see how we can test it. One way to identify those cells is that because this is three cell, we have common, usually black is the common one. So the voltage adds up one cell, two cell, three cell, as if you put on top of each other. So, but the best option would be to have a multimeter. So now I'm turning the multimeter on. So just take the probe and then measure between the two the pins. And by convention, let's start with black. So I'm holding the black and then checking any of those. Let's say if I start here, as you can see, it shows 12.1. So it means this is the third cell. So here is, uh, I created this diagram. The voltage for one cell is 3.7 volts. So second cell will be 3.7 plus 3.7, which is 7.4. And for the third one, add more 3.7, which is 11.1. So each cell will be added 3.7 or multiple of 3.7. That's why three cell is 11.1 volts and the fourth cell will be plus the 3.7. So the second cell will be, you see this cell shows 3.9 and this one around 8. So I just arranged it in such way, but so this is the first cell, second and third cell. Okay, so how we connect those wires to the actual GSTHX um, connector that you get. So you, when, you, when you get, once you get this, Look at the flat side, and the other side there, is, there are some notch. As you can see, there is some bump here. I don't know if you can see it. The camera doesn't focus here. Okay, so there is some bump, clearly. And this side is flat. Okay, the flat can be seen correctly. So just take the flat side. Okay, not this side. Just take the flat side and start common on the left side and then build up. To demonstrate that one better, let me look at this here. You see, I've taken the flat side and here there are two pumps. So this goes directly when you connect it to the charger. Those two small threads or notch or hole makes this one fit. So you cannot put it reverse. So I'm putting, I'm holding it on this side when it's flat, black here is on this side or common is on the left side and then we measure. So this is now showing the three cell, all 12 volt and each 4 volts and you can see cell 3 also 4.1 volts. So I will just solder this and then come back here and then we will measure the voltage. Okay, I've soldered the battery here. Now, as I mentioned, here on the left, I put the black one and so forth. So let me just connect this. I hope this has a, some, some charge. 
So three cell all 12.1, first cell four volts, second 3.99 which is four and then so that's good. So this is connected. Thank you very much. So if you like this video please thumb up and also please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so.